So hello everyone, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. It's me, your girl, and to the S Naya Special. So today's video is about how to cancel bad dream. Yes, how to cancel bad dream, how to stop evil attack enemy from you know fighting through dream. Yes. So, guys, before we go ahead on what to do, how to cancel bad dream, if you are new here, remember to subscribe and Turn your notification bell so guys without wasting your time let's dive into today's video now i know you already know that um dreams are forms of message from god god can communicate to you through dream i know that it's not all dreams that are communication you know there are some dreams that come from our mindset what we had in our mind before we slept uh, before we went to bed um some dream can come um as a result of our surroundings what we encounter at the night most times some you know horror movies it can come as a result of that but if you are a spiritual minded person if you're a spirit filled person you will know when god is about to speak to you you will know the prophetic dream when it comes yes so today if i were you I will treat every dream as a prophetic dream because if you're not spirit minded, if you're not spiritually alert, you might not know when God is coming to tell you something. You might not know the dream that is coming as a message to you, as an as an alert, as for you to be, you know, spiritually alert. You will not know the dream that is coming to, you know, warn you to be aware of the devices of the enemies around you. A lot of people, you know, a lot of bad things has happened to people through dream. I've had a lot of, you know, stories of how somebody ate in the dream and wake up and start shouting my tummy, my tummy, and from there, um, the person is gone. I've had a dream of how um, someone was shot, wake up, and that particular at that particular spot, he was shot at dream. He started feeling pains physically. They rush, um, they rush him to hospital. Um, after some days, he just, you know, he's gone. Now, what I'm telling you all these things is that um, enemies can get you through dream and God can speak to you through dream. So if I were you, whether good or bad dream, treat them like pray over them. Pray over those dreams. If it's a good dream, pray for it to happen. Then if it's a bad dream, pray against it very well. Pray against it very well. So today, like I said, ways you can cancel bad dreams. Like ways you should cancel bad dreams so that it will not manifest physically. Ways you can stop it from manifesting physically, taking effect in your physical life. Now, no, number one way you can cancel bad dream is praying immediately. Yes, praying immediately you had that dream. Now, um, sometimes after having a bad dream, you wake up like you feel so reluctant. So I've seen someone that said that after having a bad dream, he um, she will become scared that she cannot even sleep and she cannot pray. Now, when you have a bad dream and wake up, no matter how tired you are, it's not on the most you will stand up and start kabashing and start, you know, speaking in tongues. Even when you are so tired, because there's some dreams that can come as, you know, um, attack that will make you not to pray. There's some ones that will be against your spiritual life, attack against your, you know, spiritual life. So what you do is what? Wake up. Once you wake up immediately, at that spot, start canceling that dream. Don't even wait till daybreak. Start canceling it. Let's say you wake up around 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. or 12 a.m. Start at that spot and start canceling it. Every attack of the enemy, any way this dream is coming from, I return it back to sender. Father, I cancel it. I destroy it. I hinder it from manifesting physically. Cancel the dream because there is power in spoken words. This word you're saying was created by the word of God. And that is why Bible made us understand that the word of God is power. So I see a lot of Christians making this mistake of allowing their dreams, you know, after having the dream, they will allow it till daybreak. And most times you will not have that zeal to pray again. Most times you will forget what you dreamt about, what your dream was all about. And again, in some cases, um, you will not have the zeal to pray again. Let me tell you, once you have a bad dream and you wake up, there's always that zeal to pray. 
even when you are tired, there's always that zeal that your spirit man will be, you know, eager to pray. So make sure you follow up with that your spirit man. Cancel the dream immediately. I'm telling you the truth. Do not allow that dream to, you know, stay till daybreak or you say, okay, when I wake up in the morning or when I want to do my morning devotion, you might not have that zeal to pray again. You might, you know, you might not remember what you dreamed about or what your dream was all about. So cancel that dream immediately. Now, another way you can cancel bad dream or you can pray against bad dream is by inviting the angels of God. Yes, inviting, inviting your guiding angel to help you in fighting against those bad dreams, to help you in you know praying against those bad dreams. Now, take it or leave it. There are warriors in heaven that God has assigned in your life and they are your guiding angels. So if you don't activate them, if you don't ask them to come, if you, if you don't, don't ask for them to walk for you, if you don't ask for them to be active in your life, they will be dead. They will do what you ask them to do. So always invite your guiding angels to help you to fight against this dream. Do you get? Now, this will help you, you know, to energize you, to help you. You have a backup, a backup prayer warrior, a backup prayer partner, a backup um, angel that will, you know, stand against, against those attacks. Another way, that's the third way you can, you know, cancel bad dream is what? By praying first, praying before you sleep. Now, there are some people that because of the day-to-day -day activities after, you know, um, going to work or going to their daily business activities, coming back home, they will be very tired. Yes, they'll be so tired, coupled with, you know, house chores, taking care of the family, kids involved, um, married people, husband involved, single people, you know, maybe their project they're handling. You know, there are a lot of things that weigh our physical being down. There are some things we do that will make us to be tired physically. But if you can develop the habit, prayer is a habit. The way you will say that um, I have the habit of doing this, prayer is a habit. Take it or leave it. You cannot survive without eating food or drinking water. That is the way your prayer life should be. Now, if you can develop a prayer life of um, a habit of praying every night. Now, it is better you cancel those bad dreams, prevent them from happening than, you know, Allowing them to happen. Now, when they happen, when you dreamt about them, when you have um, you encounter bad things in dream, when you have a bad dream, the best thing is to walk, pray immediately. I've mentioned that. Now, the last point I'm going to be mentioning here, that's a bonus point, is what? Declaring fasting. Yeah. Bad dreams sometimes, like I said, most dreams are message. They are just something to show you that there is something in, that is on the way. There is, you know, danger or good thing. Now, we are talking about bad dreams. That is to show you that there is danger on the way. So, another way you can pray against bad dreams is to declare fasting. Yes. You don't need to wait till mass fasting, when the church is fasting, when um, your pastor declare fasting uh, and prayers, when it is, you know, obvious or people or your congregation where you're worshiping, they declare fasting and prayer. You don't need to wait till then. I'm not saying that you shouldn't fast and pray with your church people. But what I'm saying is that once you have bad dream, once you, you know, um, had that bad dream, once you dreamt about bad things, once you, um, you encounter bad things in your dream, declare fasting and prayer if you can. Um, when we talk about fasting, fasting doesn't mean um, you must, you know, go without food and water. Yes, it's not all fasting that are food and water fasting. Now, I know there are some people that are having um, some health challenges or health issues. Do you get? I don't advise you to go into, you know, skipping your meals. You can fast on anything that's like, you can fast with your phone. Yes, you can prevent yourself. God, I'm doing this because... Maybe you are addicted to your phone. So fasting is a way of alerting your spiritual being, making it, waking it up, Wake, awaking it, making it to be at alert. Do you get? Yes. So fasting doesn't mean you must skip meals, especially when you have health issues. Do not fast when you are having health issues. 
always you know substitute it so guys i'm going to end this video here if this video has impacted you in any way remember to subscribe and remember to always keep your notification bell on so that you'll be notified anytime i drop any new video i would like to hear from you leave your opinion down there on the comment section and hopefully i'll see you in my next video